Hello and welcome to Dr. T. Hokey Fishing. We talked about spoons on our last one. Well, I'm still studying them, looking for the action. And right now I'm using the underwater camera. I'm really shallow, just at the side of the boat, but I'm watching a number of things. The wiggle movement, how it stalls out, and I'm working with the rotating flasher of mine. This has a bright sartreuse color on one side and it's a hammered painted glow on the other and this is the chrome side of the hammered but I'm looking at the way that it's flipping because I like it to spin three times and then stall out and then go back to spinning three times and stall out one two three and four and five come on stall out uh, there it is okay that's what I'm looking for. one two three Oh, good stall out. One, one, two, three, stall out. Come on. Now, it's interesting. When I was working with this flasher really deep, something attacked it. I'm not sure what it is, although at the very end, when I bring this up, you'll see exactly what has come on top of the flasher through the water and maybe some of you fishermen out there have guessed what has leached on, grabbed on, attacked <laughs> uh, the, the flasher. Now it's 12 feet from the release clip. So these long worms, tentacles, whatever you want to call them, are a minimum of 15, 16 feet, 10 feet. But look how it all kind of goes around my flasher. And I'm trying to study what's happening in our environment. Are these type of worms? No, I don't think so. I later, as we move along in this view tube, you will see what it is. <laughs> if you've just joined us for the first time, I'd like to welcome the new viewer to TM Key Film. And if you get a chance, we got a brand new star. It's a baby sea run cutthroat that's fallen in love with this big, he thinks, or she, it's a rock. But in the rock is our high definition camera. And for some reason, we've named it Spot. And it stays there, and you can watch it feed and grow. Oh, it's really exciting on dock seas under Puget Sound. You might want to swing over and check it out. I've now brought the flasher up towards the surface. And in a moment, you're going to see what... It, there it is. It's a red man of war that hooked onto the cable in 200 foot of water depth. Bye-bye.